Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less classes, equipment, less hit points and also stronger enemies with a better advent and a better Chosen. Today it's Operation War Fire Time. Finally we can get the last Celerium and Alien Alloys that are needed before then heading directly over to the United States uh, for another council mission and then we're going to go and get the Archon King. So three missions in a row in less than 24 hours is kind of the name of the game. And in order to do this, uh, let us uh, take the right team because a couple of our guys, despite them being hired, will need to work. We're going to put Sandman in. I figured we might want to give him a proximity mine. I'll try that uh, together with both of his um, charges of Claymore. That's three charges that he can do uh, whilst being um, in cover. We know losses are there, so it's time for Allure. Ha Tepper is uh, going to be the um, stand-in, so to speak, for this mission. You got Michael Public, Bravo, Toxic, and Zirkin. And let's just double check his weapon upgrades here scope and advanced stock. Um, I am considering maybe to go for an advanced expanded magazine instead. Uh, let's go for that scope and advanced expanded magazine. Good enough. And by the way, does Tepper have our oh, superior focus? That's potentially not good enough. Might as well want to give him superior speed. And in terms of conditioning, we got normal conditioning here and advanced conditioning here. That's a hit point more that can make all the difference for Toxic since he's a frontline fighter. Good. And anything else that we were missing? I think he was good on his personal combat sim, so compu uh, superior perception. Oh yeah, that is plenty good. Secundus 246 still without additional hit point repair. We're currently repairing it, but uh, mm, Secundus will take some time to get back in shape. And eventually, whilst that is happening, we will need to play super, super careful. Good, we got another smash and grab mission. This can be brutal. I'm still just aiming for, let's say, three to four chests and everything else is a bonus. There might as well be the Chosen uh, that's going to uh, join us here. We got the Elite Gunslinger with Face Off and Lightning Hands plus the normal, uh, the normal gun. Firebrand will handle the rest. Since we're starting without concealment, one of our problems will be that the timer immediately starts ticking. I go where I am needed. As you order, Commander. At the same time, we're moving over. Let's start here with Secundus, taking a direct approach up there. Toxic charges in, Mike the Public Bravo charges in, Zirkim might take the low ground. So is our Elite Gunner. And Tepper charges in as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see if the Chosen starts joining us right away. But we got movement all the way up to here, so we're fine. Interestingly enough, no Chosen that shows up. Folks says 
I am to obey. Good. Easy movement. Let's see if we have spotted out someone. No. Not at all. I will reposition. Haven't even started to Moving. to find someone. Surprised that uh, we've come so far without finding someone. Beat, beat. Zirkim still being Order. hidden. Might just move all the way in. And we got a nice fire line going. Toxic moves over. Secundus overwatches. Okay, cool. Well, so far so good. There we go, that's the first contact. And by the way, that GTS upgrade for Overwatch crits has just paid dividends. Moving in. Engaged. Is something happening? No, it's not. It was just wow, it is incredibly laggy. Hitting the mutant. Should make short pros, uh, process. Nailed him. Good. With death from above, we should be fine. Heading out. Now that we have started to move in with the first pack, might as well continue. Because I am assuming that very I soon the crates, the crates will start to be marked and disappear. Archon, Archon Valkyrie, perfect starter for proximity mine, those guys will move for sure. Alright, Toxic moves out, next turn we're going to go further down. High ground is nice, but Come get some. getting the feeling that we're um, that we're being forced to move in fast. What? Why are we revealed? The fuck? Alright, something is awkwardly wrong here. Why are we revealed? There is nowhere to hide. Good. Lesson learned, uh, you don't want to use a proximity mine on a Reaper, because it is actually going to reveal him. The moment that it explodes, that is. And why exactly are we... Oh, we're now going Berserk. Fantastic. We'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal, mentally and physically. Perfect. 
Perfect timing to go berserk. By the way, buddy, you want to kill the guys that are standing right next to you. Just an idea. Okay, what an interesting setup. Starting to move in. I couldn't think of a better way to use the ultrasonic lure. This will also hit the additional advents that are a bit further down there. Good in terms of decent positioning. I think now is a good time for run gun. We're getting a lot of value out of that run and gun. Maybe mark this guy here. He's the only one who has not been hit by the ultrasonic lure. Rolling. Moving over. Oh, this should be a kill. One more down, fantastic. I'm trying to move in as close as I can. Trying to find that sweet spot. Good, we're moving all the way up here and offering ourselves as a target, half cover, low ground, should be a no-brainer. At the same time, it's I think about time to protect our Reaper here. Hostile threat destroyed. Target eliminated. Limited ammo remaining. Can't really explode that back there. We do have an autoloader, right? No, we don't. Okay, cool. Reload. Next round, I would like to... Um, I would really like to use... Our over uh, overcharge. It's interesting to see that these guys are still going for blazing pinions, although there are dozens and dozens of advents around. But at least the ultrasonic lure uh, worked like a charm. Because those who are being affected 
are attracting a lot of the losts. <laughs> Good, we got between the eyes. So sidearm shots with a hundred percent easy peasy. Fantastic. I think we're taking the 70% chance to just eliminate this guy. Down. Great hit. Unfortunately, it will not cancel the blazing pinions. Tried that multiple, multiple times. Never worked. Moving into this nice position here. Unfortunately, we can't hit uh, the guys back there. Good repositioning. We got another play uh, another another lure That's potentially pulling another pack. The reason why I'm not terribly afraid of that is we can deal with them. Marking the supplies because I don't want them to be lost. Is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. We hit both of them with a the grenade. Ah, okay. Good. We're first and foremost going back into the shadows. This here will spawn another pack. This here will spawn another uh, pack of losts. We need more losts as potential targets. Good, handing over teamwork. Because he's in a much better position up there. And toxic hail of bullets, the Archon Valkyrie. Marking it and injured it, uh, injuring it quite nicely. Offering ourselves as a target here. And I don't want to kill the loss yet, so they are actually really well liked.
Taking on that Elite Heavy, softening it up further. Archon should die. There we go. And we could hit those guys here and spawn more losts. Which I think we're going to do just for more chaos. Fantastic. But we're going to conceal ourselves and I think just move up here. They will not know that we're there. And it's an excellent shooting position. Good. First crate is lost. And there are so, so, so many enemies. That it's a target-rich environment. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. That counts as an explosion, so more... Losses are soon going to come in. It's interesting that this guy is going for mind control instead of dealing with all of the loss. Yep, go for it. Pin them down. That did too much. is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1-5. Wonderful. Let's start with cleaning up a couple of these guys. We don't need a placeable. I just want to get rid of the dashers. Good. Those guys are typically too fast. We do have nice ultrasonic lure available if we need it. Okay, so a couple of things. We're standing in the middle of nowhere here. I 
That won't kill him right away. I think we're just saving our grenades yet. Let's look at our sniper next. A couple of dashers and that's all we can get. Let's take them down for now. The dashers could reach us and therefore they are a bit dangerous. Seven to nine, that's two, four, six, seven, that's a kill. <laughs> they see me. Fantastic. Moving, Moving up, and the good old shotgun to the face should solve this mystery here. 100%, yep. And nope, we're taking the 100%, 75% crit chance. Well, thank you. There's a 40% crit chance, but we're potentially not going to get that guy down. Might as well try. Fantastic. make short short uh, process uh, with that guy that guy down there and then we're shredding we don't need another lure we have the superior firepower at this point so we're good to go I see shredded reload Marking. Okay. Oh, that is good. Two, four, six, seven. Oh, that's a kill. Should be able to dodge. Good and in terms of sniping high ground, let's move to here for now. Double time. At the same time, we're moving over here. I'll be there soon. You will never hide from me. Good. I think we can maybe get even more than uh, three to four crates. It looks not too bad. We have played some already? Not sure. Yes, uh, yes, we do. Got something over here. Hostile neutralized. Got the goods. Unfortunately, not what we were looking for. I'm still trying to get additional Alarium crystals. Alarium cores, rather. Okay, so a couple of things. Number one, between the eye is absolutely busted. Got 
Number two, this here should give plenty of extra XP for a sniper. Superior expanded magazine, so good. Specifically with the kill zone, I was hoping we could set something up this turn. Can't reach them. Gunslinger, on the other hand, can. This might trigger another pack, but I am greedy. And we're marking the supplies. Cool. I understand. I know where you are. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, that's too dangerous. Not worth that one trade. Instead, our mech is moving over. No life signs present. Target destroyed. Ammunition level like critical. Good. Target Very good. Preparing to re engage. Additional ammo required. I'm trusting you here. Okay, so we can wait around uh, for all of those supplies to eventually get ready. Or we're marking them right away. So I'll do a combination. Some are being marked, some we're going to wait. Killed all of these guys. Moving into an aggressive position and Mike also gets to move further forward. But we're losing another crate, but that's okay. I will use my next um, lure back here so that those guys will need to deal with the lost. I am sight beyond vision. Top down. Good. We have the minimum amount of three crates that we originally wanted. Let's just double check. Oh, that would nicely work. That would work so well. Up here we should be able to see them. Great. Okay, so that's an easy turn. I think we're good. We don't need to move. Just a lot of loss that we need to deal with. Good. Reloading. And now 
that ultrasonic lure will hit all of these guys. Okay, a couple of shots here. One. Down. We're going to deal with them in a second. Uh, what would be the perfect place? I think full cover over here is great. Run and gun yet again pays its dividends. And I'm hoping to spawn another another pack of losts. Fantastic. Loud explosion draws a swarm nearer, but not quite there yet. That's the closest I can get um, throw Claymore. moving up here I should be good to go we're not face offing we're killing that Viper unless they leave us no choice we should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful Good. Well, that flank here is safe and secure. Sigim is just trying to uh, get all of the targets down. But that's okay, we're not going to mark yet. Let's get a couple of those smaller enemies down. Mamba dies. That's good. X -ray neutralized. With that, we can position ourselves here for a better sniping position. We're just going to move over here, out of sight from uh, the gatekeeper, but ready to get into a serious spot next turn. So we're moving to here so that he can definitely not see us. Next turn we can take the high ground and easily kill him. Gateway, gateway. He's burning. He shouldn't be able to do that. I used the grenade to disable his stupid abilities. Yep, he 
he instead just moves. That's fine. Old caster. <laughs> Sweet, dude. You gotta reload. And this swarm here can now start to deal can never escape my with the enemies. As long as they are uh, being kept really busy, we're fine. Great. The lures work surprisingly well if you're in a lost mission. Good. A few things. Uh, number one, let's mark the supplies. Number two, we got some lightning hands. Starting to hit the Mamba. Misses. Okay, cool. And then some face off. Just because it's so unbelievably cool. <laughs> oh my god. I think he just killed most of them. There are still plenty left over, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. But Saiken, why would you not let them do the work? Well, I can tell you. The gatekeeper might just use gateway here and if that is the case every single lost counts as a corpse and that would be like 20 zombies and even with all of the lost corpses are still stronger more loss nothing to be concerned about let's shred the gatekeeper toxic so. is moving up and I really would like to mark this guy Fantastic. Worked like a charm. Hit the armor. Common protocol would only deal six points of damage. That is unfortunate. But we can try to hit it and that would deal much more damage. Okay. First things first, Secundus takes the aid protocol. Don't want that lucky hit to eventually kill him. Secondly, good that we did not mark the crates in advance because now it's in our favor. Looks a bit wasteful to have one person going after the crates on this side. But it is actually helpful. There's another one. I'll just mark this one for pickup as well because it's two rounds until the next crate is due to pick up. Gatekeeper takes a shot. Eventually even 90% shots are missing. So the Mamba sits nicely up there and we want to prevent uh, that from happening. She will need to deal with the losts and the only way to get that going is get her down to ground floor. Covering. 
Loud explosion eventually draws another lost swarm closer. Gateway, right? I figured that that would happen. Oh boy. Down to one hit point again with uh, the mech. And that's what I was being afraid of. Because now we definitely gotta kill this guy. Fantastic. Just left his concealment. And luckily I used... Luckily I used uh, combat protocol. Not combat protocol, uh, a protocol. Okay, good. I'm for overdrive. This here needs to end. And it needs to end fast. Hitting the mamba. Alright, that's the first one. Secondly, reload for toxic. He took the same gateway damage. I was hoping we would get the damned gatekeeper down. Didn't work as expected, unfortunately. Good, it pulls up his shell again, which is why we left Secundus here. With even more options. Oh, we killed our own. We killed our own uh, advent trooper. Well, too bad. The game is trying to calculate how to deal with all of uh, the. Newly deceased. Target eliminated. Ammo nearing depletion. That's Target a kill. Eliminated. And we're moving up. guy is potentially going to spawn even more. Okay, luckily Tepper's aim is really good. Watching. Optical sensors on Overwatch. Roger that. Moving up. I think there is another enemy back here. I'm running low on ammo. There's another lost right here. Yep, there we go. Adjusting sights. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so... How are we going to deal with all of that bull crap? Moving over. I'm trusting you here. Ready to go. Reloading. Let's get this guy down. And that might be the end of the mission. Nope, there might be... Oh, yeah. That's maybe the end of the mission. Check it before you get your on. Oh, yeah. 90 kills and we got a couple of injuries. It's really a hard, um, hard-pressed hard victory if you do have two low-will um, tired people within the team super easy to panic okay so yeah four and eight days unfortunately sandman is shaken on top of it so that mission really took a toll on him superior laser sight speed supplies look at that since we have so many crates we got plenty plenty of rewards here And negative trade. Fantastic. Fear of missed shots. Can't imagine when that ever will become a problem. Okay, so a couple of things. We wanted to double check if we can upgrade items. Yes, and Fusion Blade, yes. That only leaves the Alien Psy Amp, which we currently really don't need. Everything else is built and we're using it. Got a couple of supplies left over to play with, so might as well get the Reaper Infiltration. So we're finally fully purchased as well. Damn, that feels good. Blue screen and experimental weapons are next. Now, we're immediately jumping into the next mission, which is happening in the next episode. So we can already take a look what we're dealing with, because that is not going to be fun. Officer Shieldbearer, Gatekeeper, Viper, Elite, uh, uh -huh, Mutant Pyro, Purifier, Spectre Prime. Okay. Setting course. Well, as, le as long as it's not a Gatekeeper Prime, I think we're good to go. Let me just double check what kind of team we're going with. And by the way, this here uh, kind of shows the problem. Prime team is off. I didn't want to use Colonels. The secondary team definitely is more than... Uh, requiring a rest, so those guys are not going to be here. Which means we're potentially going to go in with more rookie, uh, with more rookies. So, okay. Whilst I was just tapping out, uh, our Cobra Ops mission just finished, like literally just that moment, and. We got a nice little uh, new skirmisher. Let's just take a look at uh, this guy. And I think we're going to send him on to the next mission immediately. Specifically interesting are those skills here. Tactical rigging, great. Saturation fire, great. Lightning reflex is great. Volatile mix, not so great, but the rest is okay. I think we took reflex. Zero in was the better ability, so we're taking wrath. Yes. 
full throttle for Sawara's ability here. Plate Storm is great, Comet Presence is great. Uh, so we've taken Interrupt. Yeah, Waylay was bad, so we've taken that one. And I think we've taken Judgment. Good. So we got 35 points left over. 14 into Lightning Reflexes, some into Tactical Rigging, and we're leaving the rest for now. I don't want to invest further in him if he's going to be captured right away. Beast is his name. I still think Reckoner is overall the better choice. Got tactical rigging as well, saturation fire and lightning reflexes, but got return fire on top of it, so he has simply one more ability. And yes, I remembered correctly, it was exactly that layout. Okay, cool. So Beast is an additional option that we do have. The resistance ring. We're now going to hunt the the chosen. Beast is going to be the one leading the charge, and there is a moderate chance of a soldier being captured. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put Russ onto that. Maybe he's the sacrificial lamb. Who knows? Let's infiltrate the stronghold. And I wanted to go back and try to set up a team. So fast forwarding to that. Good, and this is going to be our team. Took me a while to put them together, but we got Lieutenant, Sergeant, Lieutenant, Captain and Corporal. Well, we got a Corporal. It's definitely time to train another sniper to at least Sergeant rank. That is going to be the bottom of the bottom. And <laughs> we have... A nice mixture of all of uh, the random items that I could uh, find. Proximity mines, Hellweave uh, vest, a normal vest, um, overdrive serum. So this certainly is a plenty interesting uh, setup. If we can win a mission with that setup, we can win a mission with almost any setup. Seven hit points here on the spark, so it is slightly gaining back health, which is great. And other than that, that's going to be our team. But that is happening next uh, episode. If you like the content, guys, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. That always helps the channel. Elsewise, see you in two days and bye-bye.